This week on uh, Handyman Corner, I'm going to show you how you can put a skylight in your van. It's going to beautify the thing, it's going to increase the value, make it a lot more fun to drive. Heck, it's such a great idea, I'm almost tempted to try it on my own van. <laughs> but who am I kidding? Let's get the bugs out first by doing it on Buster Hatfield's van. Okay, <laughs> you're going to need a variety of tools here and a pane of, of glass. Need another pane, Harold. <laughs> Okay, we got our tools and we got our glass. Let's get to work. Need another pane, Harold. <laughs> All right, I got myself a storm window here that'll do just fine. What we got to do is get the putty out of, out of there to get the... Oh, come on, Junior. Winter's five months away. <laughs> All right, well, we won't worry about the glass right now. We'll punch a hole for our skylight. All right, I would put the skylight uh, right here over the driver's seat, and uh, of course, before we can use the saw, we're gonna need a pilot hole. I would say put it right about there. <laughs> Only there. Just double check and make sure I'm working on the right van. Yeah, it's not mine. <laughs> All right, there's the hole for our skylight. I'm just laying in a bead of caulk in there. You don't want rain dripping down the back of your neck. Of course, I guess it won't bother you so much if you first had caulking dripping down the back of your neck. <laughs> All right, let's get the glass. All right, now the difference between a handyman and a hobbyist is, well, the ability to take someone's hobby and turn it into something handy. The handy thing is a van skylight. The hobby thing is an aquarium. So find yourself an empty aquarium. Or empty yourself a found aquarium. <laughs> and you know, these aquariums come in a bunch of different sizes, so if you've got a real fat head, you might want to step up to a 45 gallon. <laughs> and there you have it. Sure, the inside of the van might smell a little fishy, but it just goes with the upholstery. And the beauty of having a unit like this is, you know, if you, if you get lost or something, you can just pop right up here, or you can look around, or when you go to the drive-in, you're going to be up above everybody else. Balcony seating. <laughs> you know how you always have a kid in the back saying, geez, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Well, heck, why not put in a skylight for him, too? Then he, he can see for himself if he's there yet. <laughs> Can't wait to show this to Buster. <laughs> so remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Hey, Red Green here with a message for my friends in America. I know there's been a rumor going around that my new one-man show, How to Do Everything, is only for Canada, uh, but you're not getting off that easy. I'm bringing it to the States in the spring of 2014. Don't know exactly where I'm going yet, but I know 11 states for sure so far. Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Michigan, Indiana, Wisconsin, Minnesota, South Dakota, Iowa, Washington, and even Alaska. There'll be lots more to come, so keep checking redgreen.com, find out exactly where I'm going to be, and hopefully you and I can meet up there. Looking forward to seeing you in the spring of 014.